Okay, so based on the images you're sending me, you are working on quadratic equations, and you're working on what is called vertex form. Okay, so vertex form, the general form of it, should look like y equals a x minus h squared plus k. And everything's gonna be built off of that formula. Um, anything that happens, oh, sometimes you could get a little extra coefficient in here, the b. Anything that's going to happen inside the parentheses, anything that, you know, is inside the item that's being squared, that's going to result in a horizontal shift or change. So anything that happens inside is going to be horizontal. And the inside changes always do the opposite of what you think they're going to do. And then anything that happens on the outside, like the A and the K, that's going to result in a vertical change. And the outsides always do what you would expect they are going to do. Now when they're teaching you quadratics, they're going to base everything off of the parent function, which is just your y equals x squared. And so what I would encourage you to do is just look at the basic graph of the y equals x squared to start. Okay, so usually you pick zero, and if you were to plug zero in for the x, um, your y value would also come out to be zero. So that's why you get your point zero, zero. That's going to end up being your vertex of your parent function. Then you want to pick a couple points that are on the right-hand side of zero. You want to pick a couple points that are on the left-hand side of zero and you're gonna plug those into the equation. So if I took my one and squared it, I would get an answer of one. So I would have the point one, one. If I took my two and squared it, I would get a four. So I'd have the point two, four. And so there's your right-hand side of your parent parabola. And then if I took my negative one, and squared it. Negative one times negative one makes positive one. And if I took my negative two and squared it, negative two times negative two makes positive four. So there's your right hand side, or sorry, your left hand side of your parabola. Okay, so you get this nice smooth U shape. The bottom of that parabola is called the minimum or the vertex. Okay, now they can do all kinds of things to this parent. They can shift it right, they can shift it left, they can move it up, they can move it down, they can flip it over, they can make it tall, they can make it skinny, they can do all kinds of fun stuff to it. And it all depends on where they've put the item in the vertex form, okay? now. I think for your class, they're probably just going to keep you to this basic formula right here. Okay, The first thing they usually tell you how to do is how to shift something up, which up would be a vertical shift, or they're going to teach you how to make something shift down, which would also be a vertical shift. And where that is going to go is it's going to go in the K location of the um, of the parabola. So if they want something to move up, you're going to see plus k. If they want something to move down, you're going to see minus k. All right, so let's look at our equation. I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay. And let's say that they gave us the equation y equals x squared plus 1, okay? So see how it's not inside being squared? It's on the outside. That would put it in the k position. That means you are going to move up one space. So it's going to be just like they took the graph of y equals x squared and shifted it up one space, okay? So if you remember y equals x squared had a dot at 0, 0, 1, 1, 
and 2, 4. And it had a dot at negative 1, 1 and negative 2, 4. Okay? Well, you're going to see your graph pick up and move one space up. If, if you're unsure, you can always create yourself a t-table again. I like to pick 0 when there's no shifting right or left. So if I was to plug 0 in there, I would get 0 squared plus 1, which would end up being 1. And then I'll pick a couple points on the right and a couple points on the left. And then I'll pick my 1. 1 squared is 1, plus 1 is 2. I'll pick my negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And I'll pick my positive 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. And then I'll pick my negative 2, and I also get 5. And then when I go to graph it, it should look like you just shifted up one space. And that's because they put a number in the k location. Now, the same thing would happen if they wanted you to move the equation down a space or down two spaces. The only thing that would look different is when you look at your equation next to the x squared, you would see minus some number. So for example, if I saw x squared minus 5, this would tell me to take the graph of y equals x squared and shift it down 5 spaces. So, so normally I would have had a dot at 0, 0, but that minus 5 on the outside is telling me to move it down 5 spaces. Normally I would have had a dot at 1, 1, but that minus 5 is telling me to move it down five spaces. Normally I would have had a dot at negative 1, 1. And again, it's telling me to move it down five spaces. Normally I would have had a dot at 2, 4. Again, it's telling me to move it down five spaces. So this top graph would have been your original parabola. But because of the transformation, your parabola is moved down five spaces. So that's the most common shift they usually teach you is how to move up and down. Whoop.